Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Season 2, Episode 47. First thing, as always, thank you to those of you that have subscribed to my channel. If you are new, names will go up over here. And thank you to those of you that have been following and supporting me on the forum. Recognition goes up over here. Now, I have one notification. If you haven't seen my video from last week, check that out. I have got an Instagram up. And thank you to those of you that are following. Really appreciate it. And yeah, let's get into this video. Now, when it comes to Gamble's airsoft ideas, I like to keep it fun, creative, think outside the box, break that fourth wall and come up with something completely unique. Now, if you haven't seen my other airsoft idea videos, check them out. You'll see what I do. I work on a number of things, and fingers crossed, hopefully I'll test them all out when I get the chance. But this video is going to be special because I'm going to be focusing only on one thing. Now, this project is called the Hybrid Rig. Now, you're probably thinking straight away, what rig is he going to use? Well, let me show you. It's to my left, which will be your right. Here it is. This is the PLCE webbing rig used in the UK. Surplus, I don't know if it's still being used in the military at the moment. I think it's being phased out, so in limitation in certain branches of the military. Don't hold me to that, I'm not a military expert, but you kind of get my drift, hopefully. Now, this was the first rig, background story, that I ever bought when I went into Airsoft, so I did a few things right. Now, if there are any beginners watching this, check out my beginner's advice and tips. It will help you out, hopefully and you find it useful. So I bought a DPM loadout completely and bought this off eBay, second hand, it came with other pouches and whatnot. And it came in handy with my G36C at the site that I was originally at. And I could put BBs in here and anything else that I needed to take into the field, grenades, smokes, you name it. And then once I got my Yukara, I decided to buy my first rift, which was an AK. And I went down the AK route and haven't looked back since then. And this kind of became more redundant through time because if you know anything about this, this is a NATO rig, so it was based for M4 mags. It can use G3 mags. If you haven't seen my video where I'm using Honey Badger's HK33, check that out. You see what I mean um, when it comes to the mag capacity with the ammo pouches. And I thought to myself, I saw my friend... Uh, month or so back um, when we went to Skirmish High Wickham he was using his Smirsh. I'll put a picture up here. A Smirsh is a Russian version pretty much of this, keeping it very simple. And I thought to myself, why not come up with a hybrid, an upgrade? So what's going to happen is in this video, I'm going to be using this as the main platform. And these things that I ordered off Grey Shop, I'll put a link in the description down below. I buy a lot of my Russian gear from them and I can highly recommend them especially with their prices and discounts and obviously postage as well. Phenomenal. I haven't had a single problem with them. So the three items that I bought here, let me show you, to my right, which will be your left. I bought two AK pouches and I bought a scabbard sheath, if you want to call it that, for my prop knife. Now, I was originally going to buy three other things, but I might leave that for another time, again, because... This is the first stage. Yes, that means there's possibly, fingers crossed, going to be a second stage when it comes to this with the other one. So I don't want to give too much away with that. So nevertheless, what I'm, what's going to happen is I'm going to put these back down. I'm going to set up my table and pretty much you're going to see some of my ideas and plans that I have for this. And yeah, so let me get it sorted out. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my main rig, the platform. I have got the other items, but you'll see them soon enough. Here is the M4 G3 pouch. As you can see the design, belt through, Velcro, button closure, and this to line up with the belt. And this is the most important part here, where you put your straps through for your shoulder harness. And you're probably thinking straight away, well, that's a bit of an issue if you've got Russian gear because they will need these. And you are correct. So if I put this to the side and show you this. Now, I did buy these items, I've taken this one off just so I can show you, so you can see that it's the same design pretty much. Some Velcro for the belt, and this one is on, as you can see over here. 
Now, I've already put them on. I haven't adjusted this. Um, I still gotta go through that. And you'll see that later on when I adjust and you'll see the, hopefully, fingers crossed, complete version. But I thought I'd show you that. I got these off Surplus and Outdoors. I'll put a link in the description down below. 250 a piece and it was 4 dollars for postage and packaging. And these did turn up on Tuesday. And well, I'll get onto the other items soon enough. So let me put this down and magic. Now, as you can see, I've got my other items here. I've got this, this, and this, the three items which I bought at Grey Shop. The others that you see, the holster, the mag pouch, and that is just to give you a reference um, because again, I like to see what other things can do outside their written description. Now, as you can see, we'll start with the top right, the bayonet scabbard. The Russians like to keep it very simple, as you can see. There you go. And you can weave it in and out to secure it wherever you want to, again, customize to your desire. You can adjust it with this. And what I might do with this is actually try it with my Tomahawk and Machete. And fingers crossed, it might make the option a little bit easier. I will test that out at a later date. Two Velcro straps here. Now this is my G3 bayonet. I do need to get a G3, yes I know. But nevertheless, a rough idea, yes. It is bent, it's the way it came. You can straighten out, but it always resorts back to its original shape. But there you go. In fact, what I'll do now is I will take this out, put this back. I'm gonna put this over here. Now, we'll go in into the AK pouches. Now, we'll start off with this one here. Again, same design for this, so I'll go through it quickly. Again, pull out, and that's Russian Molly for you, again. Easy enough. Secure it however you want to. Customize it however you want to. A little bit of practice. Get used to that. There we go. Now, straight away, you've got this side here. And you can see this is the opposite version. You could buy this without this on it. And I just want to show you, this is stitched on. It's not Velcro, so you can't pull it off or adjust it that way. So you have three options. This version, this version, or just this without that. Now, what I've done here is this was designed for flares, like the Russians like, but I decided to be a little bit curious, so you can put an extended mag in there. Would I say it's a good choice? Mm, honestly, it's nice and snug in there, but it's like anything. Mags can be pretty expensive, especially gas mags, so you don't want to really lose it. So 50-50, um, I wouldn't use it, um, but I'll get onto the next part soon enough, so I'm going to put that over here with the other mag. Let's have a look on the inside. Now, this is a button closure as well as Velcro, so hopefully you can see this. Now this is a little stiff still, so a little bit more, there we go, practice. Now as you can see here, I have my AK-74 mags in here. One up, one facing down, obviously reverse it if you want to, again choices. Now this fits two in currently at the moment, hopefully you can see that. Again, like all things it's new, customize it where it can tear it in. Now I'm gonna take these two AK mags out and put them here for now. So you can have a look inside. Now, this is the important part here. You can see this. So this is actually Velcro. So you can take it out. I'm not gonna take it out because it does look like it's a bit tricky at the moment. But what you can do is if you take that out, instead of having two mags, you can actually fit three of these AK-74 mags in this way or that way. I'll test that out again at a later date. So what I'll do now is I will put that to the side. Now with this one here, I won't go through it all again, but as you can see, I put my AK bayonet in here with the Velcro, where the flare would normally go. Yes, you could put it in there, but again, if that catches, um, and depending on how active you are, you could lose it. And again, even rubber bayonets are not cheap in airsoft, so bear that in mind. Put that back on roughly. Open this one up, same again. Now, is this the one that's a bit, there we go. Now I've got my AK-47 mags in here. As you can see, reversed, you can do it the other way. So I'm gonna take them out. Again, stitching here, so again, Velcro, take it out. Now I have been told on the site, which I bought this from, Grey Shop, it can fit two of these in here. But if you want to get three mags in, 
go with the AK-74 mags. I will try and see if I can get three of these in here again at a later date, but it did say on the site that it would fit three of these without this attachment in here. This one, well, I'll have to find out, but again, take them on their word. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these to the side. I'm going to move these over here. Move this as well. Now, I bought this mainly for this one, so let's put it in. Success. There you go. Be as quick as I can. There you go. Now, I highly recommend this for anyone like me. I bought this AK rubber bayonet off eBay, and these don't come with sheaths or scabbards, whatever you want to call them, really, or both. And, well, here's a great option. And what I'll do is I'll put the prices up at the end, or during this, I'm not sure when. And, you know what, I'll do it now. There you go. So, yeah, let's put this down to the side over here. Now, these are some options that I want to put on my rig. I don't know if it will work or not, but again, out of curiosity, why not? So, my VZ61. I actually want to thank someone, I'm going to put the name down here. He actually told me that the KWA people that make this... Um, actually call it the KZ61 obviously because of trademarks and copyright and all that stuff so there you go um, but nevertheless the real counterpart is called the VZ61 so I'm going to put that down here over here standard mags for this pistol again I'll try and fit that on if I can now the reason why I've got two extended mags here is I wanted to show you this now that these are empty so, I'll use the front one. There's one. Again, trying to make sure I get it in focus here without that bit. So, two extended mags in there for this model. You could possibly, I'm going to have a look, no. So, you could put two in here, two in here. If you took out, again, this, I'm pretty sure you could get three in easily, possibly even four. Again, you could try and push it, but I'd say three to four of the extended mags. If this was out, this attachment here. Um, yeah, there you go. Another cheap option for a pistol if you just want to run this on the day. So what I'm going to do is I'll take these two out, actually. Put this back over here. Put these over here. So that is pretty much everything that I want to try, first of all, on my rig. And what's going to happen now is I'm going to use my magic and montage time.
So that is my hybrid rig project. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I can tell you right now, this is likely to change, customize um, to my needs. I can tell you straight away right now, the AK-47 mags, because of the curvature, are a little bit more difficult to get out at the moment. Uh, again, with a bit of time and practice, maybe better. It's a lot easier with the AK-74 mags. Uh, there is a little bit of movement, but again, nothing that's gonna affect me at the moment. Again, this is airsoft. Harnesses are in the right place. If you look up here, I actually moved my um, knife from down here up to here. I might tape it, secure it a bit. Whilst you're watching this video, I have gone to Skirmish Rickham Airsoft, and fingers crossed, hopefully got some good footage. I will try this out, see how it goes, and again, it might work, it might not, but again, it's just part of the fun. And that's it for this video, so like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to click the little bell icon so you know when the next video is. I enjoyed making this video, I look forward to making the next one, but most importantly you can do is, Stay safe.